And so you're so amped up with the emotion that you can't really think about what is it that I wanted in the first place. And so if we can just have an awareness of what we want, then that helps us to be able to get it. Let's say that, you know, around Christmas time, you're trying to wrap some gifts and uh, you can't find the scissors, right? And so um, the man comes up to the wife and says, hey, um, where are the scissors? Now, he's seeking information, just basic, where are the scissors? I want the scissors. I don't have the scissors in my hand. I need the scissors. But the wife hears he's being critical. He's having a harsh tone with me, and this is a bad deal. And so when he asks for the scissors, she says, she says, why are you being critical of me? I don't know where the scissors are. Where did you put them? Right? And so then he says, well, you're being rude with your tone. That's very disrespectful. And she says, well, you're being rude. And before you know it, we've got a full-blown, big, explosive conflict situation in our hands. Right? And so it's easy to get into those situations, isn't it? Until the anger is out of control and you've forgotten what is it that I want. And then so that's very important. And now I want to go through just briefly with you, and I want to talk about the fact that a lot of us have these dysfunctional kinds of anger management styles, right? And so, and so we'll get back to some of our key points in just a minute, but I want to ask you, are these your dysfunctional management styles, right? Some of us are trash compactors. Now, you guys remember trash compactors? If you live in an older home, you might have one. You definitely have probably seen one back in the 80s. We had one when I was a kid. My mom never used it. And I'll tell you why. You put trash in a trash compactor, and then you leave. Then you come back and you stuff some more trash down. And you keep stuffing, stuffing trash in that trash compactor. And the goal of the whole machine was that you could stuff more trash in there and compact it so that you didn't have to take out the garbage as often, right? It was like one of these luxury kinds of machines. The only problem is, is it, it starts stinking big time after a while, and you got a big mess on your hands. It starts leaking, and the bag leaks and stuff. And so it actually is not used very often in, in kitchens anymore. But the Proverbs say this. The Proverbs say that, that each heart feels its own bitterness and that no one else can appreciate its joy. In other words, those people who are trash compactors with anger, they keep stuffing it down in their souls. They, they keep stuffing it down deep in their consciences so that they don't feel it and they're trying to make it go away and they keep stuffing it. The only problem is it's going to leak. It's going to stink and it's going to affect everything in your heart and in your soul and it starts affecting your physical body. You can get physically sick from bitterness and from anger and then what happens is it comes out with all of your relationships that are around, and you may not even realize it. But these people who are trash compactors, man, they are powders. You say, well, what's going on? Oh, nothing. Well, you seem angry. Oh, I'm not angry. And they isolate themselves, and they try to act as if nothing's wrong, but there's something big time wrong. They have anger. So are you a trash compactor? 